Hello, this is Cody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take you on a full in-depth tour of the 55 plus community of Sun Lakes here in Chandler. This is a really great community and it's kind of confusing. There are actually five different sections in here. All of them have different aged homes, different styled amenities, and there's just a lot to it. So I'm going to go through everything here in this video. So let's get into it. Here is where Sun Lakes is located in Chandler. You are within 30 minutes to the airport, downtown Phoenix, as well as Tempe and Scottsdale, which of course have a lot of entertainment and just a lot of stuff to do. There is shopping right here in the community, so you have grocery stores, banks, everything that you need right here, and you are located right next to some of the very most premier communities in all of Chandler. There are hospitals and healthcare nearby, of course, and you have the Gila River Resort Casino out there. So there's just a lot to do in this area. Now, Sun Lakes is split up into four or five technically different communities, and we're gonna get into every one of the different communities and the differences that they have. We're going to start off today in the Oakwood section of Sun Lakes. This is the newest and most luxurious part of Sun Lakes. They have the stone and barrel tap house here, which is at their main clubhouse. They have a giant pool facility here, an arts and crafts center, and so much more. So we're gonna get into everything on this section. You can see Oakwood is the section here outlined in red. This is going to be guarded and gated, so it is very safe and secure. This is the most desirable section within Sun Lakes, in my opinion, and in most people's opinions. This is the largest and newest section of the community. Here I am walking around the Oakwood Country Club. They just have a ton to do here. This is going to be the largest um, amenity center in all of the Sun Lakes communities. Here you will have a pool center, you will of course have your country club where you can play golf, tennis courts, they have all of their club meetings here so they have tons of clubs, they have the stone and barrel restaurant here that you can eat and enjoy these amazing views. They also have this arts and crafts center that has its own address. It is really huge and they do a ton of activities in here and you can learn a whole load of new things. Real quick while I'm walking around here, I just wanted to let you know that I do offer a free 55 plus community guide and spreadsheet. It goes over all of the different 55 plus communities, the fees that they have, the prices of the homes, the amenities they offer, and it just has so much information on there for you and it is completely free. All you need to do is send me an email and I'll send that right over to you. Now let's get back to the video. As I mentioned, this is the most desirable section within Sun Lakes, and with that comes higher prices than many of the other sections. In Oakwood, the HOA that you pay monthly is going to be $209 per month. That covers all of your amenities access as well as common area maintenance and everything like that. Another fee that you are going to want to know about in here is the capital improvement fee. This is a one-time fee that you pay when you move into the community, and in Oakwood, that is $5,024, and again, that is just a one-time fee. I mentioned they also have um, a pool center here. There were a lot of people. I could not get into it, but here is a picture of what it is like. They have a lot of seating out there. It has golf course views, and it's just really well done. A big reason why Oakwood is so desirable when compared to some of these other sections is because of the homes. The homes are quite a bit newer in here. They have a lot of large, very nice homes, a lot of third car garages, large backyards with golf course or lake views. So they are very, very nice. In here, the median sales price is $577,000 and we're going to compare this to all of the other sections later in this video. Now we are over here at the Ironwood section of Sun Lakes. 
This is a smaller gated and guarded section of Sun Lakes. Right across the street is Oakwood where we just were. And the best part of this part community is that you have access to Ironwoods amenities as well as Oakwood. So you can drive your golf cart right across the street and go to their luxurious amenities. And their amenities are gonna be larger than this Ironwood section. Ironwood has multiple pools, but they're all smaller facilities. So we're gonna get into everything that you need to know about Ironwood. Ironwood you can see here is outlined in blue. You are right across the street from Oakwood and you can drive your golf cart right over there. You actually have access to Oakwood's amenities so you can go over there and use their amenities and they can come over here and use yours. This pool center that you are seeing here with the tennis court is a lot of, this is what their amenities are like here in Ironwood. They have three of these pool centers. It's going to be quieter, less busy, but they don't have the really large community center that they do in Oakwood because you can just drive across the street and use Oakwood's amenities. Ironwood is a lot smaller of a community and it is guarded and gated as well. The HOE fees in here are the same as Oakwood, so you pay $209 per month for your HOA, and then you have the one-time capital improvement fee of $5,024. Again, that is the exact same as Oakwood. What you are seeing here is their Ironwood Country Club. They have a restaurant here, and this is basically just a common area, and then their golf course is here. The homes are fairly newer in here, as I mentioned, and they are very nice. The median sales price in here is $501,000, so about $75,000 less than Oakwood across the street, and you still have access to their amenities. Now I am here in the Palo Verde and Cottonwood section of Sun Lakes. These are kind of lumped together. Palo Verde is partially gated. Cottonwood is not gated. The homes are a little bit older in here. The amenities are definitely on a smaller, less luxurious scale. And you do not have access to the Iron Oaks amenities as the other ones did before. So we're going to get into everything that you need to know about this section. You can see Cottonwood and Palo Verde located here in green on the map. It is another fairly large section, just a little bit smaller than Oakwood. This is the amenity center, the main amenity center that the communities share. It is very large, they have everything that you could ask for here, and there are actually a couple amenity centers scattered out throughout these areas, but this is the largest one for sure. This is where a lot of your club meetings will take place. They have a large pool here, tennis and pickleball courts that you wouldn't believe. They have libraries, a restaurant, everything that you could ask for is located here. Now, what's the difference between Palo Verde and Cottonwood? Well, Palo Verde is going to be a gated and guarded section and Cottonwood is not. So the HOAs are going to be the same. In Palo Verde and Cottonwood, you pay $132 per month for your HOA, amenities access, and everything like that. And your capital improvement fee is a one-time $3,500 fee that you pay when you move into the community. And this is the same for both. The big difference is with Palo Verde, you pay $227 annually for a gate fee and $250 annually for road maintenance, whereas in Cottonwood, you do not pay these fees. Homes in this section are going to be a little bit older than Oakwood and Ironwood, but they are newer than the original Sun Lake section, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. You can see here, a lot of the homes look similar to the Oakwood and Ironwood sections, especially in the Palo Verde area. The Palo Verde section is very nice and still a very desirable section. Cottonwood is also very nice and is pretty desirable. It's just a little bit of a step down from the Palo Verde section, mainly because Palo Verde is gated. Both of these sections are very well kept. Everyone has a pride of ownership. People are very friendly. You can definitely drive your golf carts around everywhere and really get involved in both of these sections. In Palo Verde, the median sales price is $545,000. So if you're keeping up, that is actually more expensive than the Ironwood section, but less expensive than Oakwood. Cottonwood, on the other hand, has a median sales price of 423000 
and this is in part due to the homes being older in there as well as it not being a gated section so prices do get a little bit lower in cottonwood but you still have access to really great amenities you are just not in a gated section one very important thing to note is that if you live in the Cottonwood or Palo Verde section, you do not have access to the Oakwood or Ironwood amenities, and they do not have access to your amenities as well. But don't worry, there are plenty of amenities here in this section. The one thing that I did not get to film was the original Sun Lake section. This is going to be the oldest section in here. It was built in the 1970s, and the amenities are fairly similar to what you saw here in Cottonwood and Palo Verde. It is not guarded or gated, and it is going to be the most affordable option out of all these communities, closely followed by Cottonwood. Overall, I think Sun Lakes is a really nice community and it is in such a great location. The amenities are not super luxurious, but that's not what everybody is looking for. The key to this community is choosing the right section that fits your needs and your budget. Thank you for joining me out here on this tour of the great community in Chandler, Sun Lakes. I hope I was able to give you a lot of information about this kind of confusing community. Um, if you do have any additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me or just send me an email and I can send you my very useful free 55 plus community guide. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you at the next one.